What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So I'm pretty excited about this one then. It's gonna be quite an interesting little video. To start with, I'm gonna be showing you three six-figure products. I'm also gonna be showing you the Facebook ads as well that were ran to produce those results. And I'm also gonna be showing you then the research method I used to find these products. And then to finish off the video, I've got this pretty cool kind of tip or trick that you can pretty much apply to any Facebook ad. And it's gonna give you an idea then of how much money that actual ad is bringing in. So that being said then guys, that's the topic. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get straight into it. What is going on guys, welcome to my computer. So to start off the video then, I just wanna show you this pretty cool tool, um, just in case you're not aware of it, because I've only actually learned about this recently. I was actually watching a video by Dan De Silva, so shout out to him then, I actually learned this by watching his video. Um, and for everybody who asks as well, um, when I first started then I didn't take a course or anything like that, I purely just watched videos on YouTube and Dan De Silva then was actually one of the very first people that I started watching and I still watch him today. So shout out to him, he's awesome, make sure you go over to his channel and check his videos out. Um, so anyway, what you can do then is when you come across pretty much any post on Facebook, um, just to show you guys here, if I open up just a random one of these. Um, if you click on like the top three dots on the top right here, you can click save video and then you can choose what collection to add it to. So what I've been doing then is as I've been going through and doing my product research, any that I wanna do kind of further digging into, I've been adding to these collections so I can always come back to them. Now, in terms of how I found these, I started off by just scrolling through my newsfeed because I'm involved pretty much my own Facebook profile has pretty much become like a business profile. So I always see ads. You only have to scroll through your newsfeed and you'll see loads and loads of ads. But another or a quicker way of doing it then is if you just search for get yours, and now the key bit in this now, you've probably seen this research method before, but trust me, stay till the end. This little tip or trick I'm gonna show you will be worth it, I promise. Um, but the key then is to put this bit.ly in, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna show all the ads with short URLs, and that is absolutely key, and I'm gonna show you right now why. So in terms then of what we're gonna be focusing on today, we're gonna to be focusing on this 100K collection here. Uh, there's five products in this collection, but we're only gonna be going through three today. Um, just to kind of give you guys then the gist of what's going on so you can go out and find your own products. So just to show you then how I know that all of these products have done over 100K, if we just take this one for example then, I'll open it up, um, I'll try and stop the music as quick as possible. Um, and what, the, what you do then is if you scroll down and just find the short URL, make sure you copy it, don't click it, just copy it, open up a new tab and then paste it in. Now before you hit enter, what we're gonna do is just put a little plus sign on the end of it, then hit enter. And what that's gonna do is actually give us details of how many times that URL has actually been clicked and then therefore we know how much traffic that ad has generated. So now we go back to the ad, we actually click on it properly this time to take us to the store. And now we know how many people have clicked on the ad and how many people have gone through to this product page. We can now use kind of rough numbers or kind of like the industry averages to work out then how many people actually bought this product and therefore how much revenue was actually produced from it. So we saw that I believe about a million views, so 950,000 clicks, which is just a huge, huge amount. And we know the product then is seven pound 50. So if we just open up my calculator quickly, Up the calculator. I'll move this across so you guys can see it. And now in terms of conversion rates, the industry averages vary depending on who you speak to. But if, if looking at one of my old stores, you can see that my conversion rate was 6.45%. However, that speaking to a lot of you guys, actually, that does seem a bit high um, or higher than what most people tend to achieve. So if we just base it on something a bit lower, so £7.57, then we know it was 950,000 clicks. So 95,000, 955,000 clicks. So let's go for, let's say 5%. I think they could easily achieve 5% for a cheap product like this. So times that by 0 0.05. And we know then that they've had roughly about 47,500 orders for this product. If we times that by the cost of the product, which is £7.57, it gives us an idea then of roughly how much money that actual ad has produced, which is 360,000 pounds. So therefore, there's, ve there's a very strong sign there then that that actual product um, is 
easily a 100K product. So that being said then guys, hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna go through a couple more examples as well just to show you some more products too. Um, but if you're still watching the video then and this is something new you've never seen before and you're enjoying the video of course, please do make sure you hit that like button. So that being said then, let's go back to the product collection list and let's have a look at another one. As In fact, as Valentine's Day is coming up then, let's have a look at this teddy bear because I've actually been looking at, I've had my eyes on this one uh, myself. When I first saw this ad on my newsfeed, I thought it was pretty cool actually. Actually, and I did actually consider um, getting it for my own girlfriend. So just to kind of reiterate things then, make sure you find ads that have this, have a short URL. Now, if it's a Google, um, if it's a short URL made by Google, it works. And if it's an Amazon one, it works as well. So as long as it's kind of like a short URL, um, this same trick is pretty universal. It pretty much works on any URL yet. So make sure you copy it then, open up a new tab, paste it in, stick a plus sign on the end and hit enter. And it's gonna give you an idea of how many clicks. As we can see then, about 50,000 clicks. If we go back to the ad itself, open up the actual link properly to take us to the product page we need to know then how much they're charging for the product and then we go back to our calculator so just to double check it was about 50,000 clicks and 45 us dollars so 50,000 clicks times by the 5% conversion rate. Again, I think they'll achieve at least 5%. This is a really unique and pretty cool product, especially come with the time of year it is now coming up to Valentine's Day. You wouldn't be surprised if they reach uh, somewhere near kind of seven or 8%, but let's go for 5% then just to low ball it. Uh, so times by 0.05 equals 2,500 orders, times that by the $45 per piece. And you've got a little bit over 100K then. So it's still a 100K product. Obviously, it still gives you a, gr a good idea then of how much money these ads are actually bringing in. And what I like about this as well is you can actually see the actual video ad itself. So you know like 100% that you've got a winning product and you've got a winning ad. And there's just so much information there for you guys to go out and base your product research and base your ads on these proven theories. We can see clearly that they're generating huge amounts of traffic. Their stores look pretty decent decent so they're obviously getting the sales as well so just to go through it once more then just to make sure um, there's no kind of gray areas but of course any questions at all whatsoever please do feel free to leave a comment down below um, and I believe this one had a crazy amount of clicks as well so let's choose this one so we copy the short URL open up a new link put a plus sign on the end and over half a million clicks then, which is obviously a very large amount too. Uh, open it up and I can't remember how much these guys were charging for it actually. So 40, $40, which is quite expensive actually for a phone case or 30 pound to see they've got a currency converter. If so what we're gonna do, rather than go on 5%, because I think that's a bit high actually, I don't think they'll get 5%, especially on phone cases which are really competitive. So they had about half a million clicks, if I remember rightly. So let's go for say a, a 0.3, a 3% conversion rate, which is very low. Um, so still 150,000 orders. So even if they charge, if my math is right, like 75p per one, then they'll still be making 100K. Uh, so times that by the 30 pound then per case. And you're looking at a product then that probably did nearly half a million pound in revenue. So that being said then guys, that's the three products. Um, there's actually five on the list, but I'm only going to go through three. The, the idea of this, the, the idea of this video then, was to show you the method in which I used to gauge how much money these ads are actually bring in, which is actually critical and crucial. Make sure you implement this in your product research because it's a great way. It just tells you everything all in one go. You have the ad itself, you have the product, and then you can get a good, a great idea then of how much money is actually bringing in as well. So it gives you an idea of how much potential there is in a product. So if you, for example, if you take one of these products and for whatever reason it isn't working for you, then you know the problem isn't the product because somebody is proven to be selling it successfully here. So you need to look at whether it's your store, are you charging too much, whether it's your ad, whatever it is. So that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up there. Hopefully you guys are still watching. If you are, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support on the channel. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, of course, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you all guys in the next one.